rice. Or some people don't just know how to cook. Is that true? <laughs> Is I that don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I eat out 365 days a year. Oh wow. wow. Yeah, you don't cook at all. I don't. Wow. No. Is this, this like your first time in the kitchen? No, I mean I, I can I can cook if I want to, but I mean Do you have boyfriend or husband? <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh I guess he's okay. I, I guess that's why I don't have a ring yet. <laughs> <laughs> This is Wolf Fighter and I am live here in Houston. As you can see, it's a bit cold, but you know, <laughs> I have to cover up myself. And today, I'm gonna be making yam porridge. And guess what? I'm taking someone to the market today. That's their grocery store. That's what they call it here. It's not every time uh, in Amigo they enter market, they buy things, they cook it with punch out. Now, you will follow me to the market and see how I process the cooking. So, I have three guests coming on the show to do the tasting, the cooking, and watch me do everything so follow me around while i take you to the shop the grocery store <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Fulani. I was originally raised in Tyler, Texas and I now reside in Houston. So we are about to make the baddest yam porridge you ever <laughs> tasted in in your life because you haven't had right. it before, right? So now after this, everybody else's yam porridge will have to stand up to yours. <laughs> Today we are having yam porridge, which I am very excited about. I've heard of it before, but this will be my first time actually trying it. Okay, so let's grab some onions. This is a lot of onions though, but well, I probably need just one of it. Okay. And then, um, okay, pepper. Okay. Crayfish. I'll, I'll let you do the shopping. Okay. Just in case I'm not with you and you want to do this on your own, you know okay. what to get. Perfect. So, pepper. Red pepper? Uh -huh. okay. Red pepper, crayfish. You know crayfish, right? No. Are these crayfish? Yeah, that's crayfish. Okay, no. This is my first time. Really? Yeah. So, what do you eat here in America? Um, a lot of different things. I feel like our cuisine is mixed up, you know? But no staple items like this. What's your favorite food? So let's have um, dried prawns. You know prawns, right? Yeah, like shrimp. Shrimp, okay, yeah. Cool. Dried um, Perfect. You haven't told me what your favorite food is. I do love seafood. Seafood? Yeah, seafood is one of my favorites. Okay. If I have a choice of meat though, I will pick beef. Beef? Yeah. I'm not a beef fan. What I love seafood. Food? Yeah. Have you been to Nigeria before? So let's do snail. Okay. Big one or small, small one? Yeah. Small. Okay. So you just look at it and pick any one. Okay, what do I need to look for? You have to scan with your eyes. Okay. Which one has small? The most. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Perfect. Yeah. Mm. You check another one. It's very hard to know the good one, so you have to really check properly. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay. Yeah, you see? Right. And so, if there was one that you would say no, one my mom wouldn't want me to bring mm -hmm. home, oh, what would be one like that? Okay, so this is the one you shouldn't bring home, even though your mom is gonna. Whoop your ass. Okay. <laughs> this one, it looks like some, in, you know, some insects live inside this yam, right? Okay. So once they do so, you see some holes. This is where they come out from. Okay. Once they are done destroying the yam, they come out and move to the next yam. That's why you see all these holes. So this one, it will be so hard for you to even peel because they've eaten off the flesh mm -hmm. and it's so hard. And it's dried out. It's dry. Okay. So this one, don't ever buy this one. So no. It's a no. Okay. Yeah. And you see the thing about yam, you know mm -hmm. this is the part of the plant, right? Once okay. you're done eating all of this, you can keep this and then this starts germinating. To regrow? Yeah. Okay, to regrow. cool. 
You can pound it, you can fry, grill, do anything Whatever. you want. Yeah. And then we do palm oil okay. now. Whew. Let's try this one. Okay. Let's try this one. This is it. It's a good one. Yeah. Okay. It's good one. Perfect. It smells really fresh. And then, okay. um, I think we are done here. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Can you find anything? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. No jara or anything. What what about that sweet day? Ten cents or ten cents? Nothing is free. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are done shopping. Thank you for coming on this journey with us and thank you for helping me shop. See how easy it was. And then we are going to head straight into the kitchen to make what? Yeah, pork. Yeah! <laughs> and we have another guest joining us in the kitchen. She's gonna have a very little potion because she didn't come to the market with us. Abby? Abby. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Kayla Delati. I am from Houston, Texas, and I grew up here my entire life. We are back from the market, but you came late. We're supposed to come to the market because. Yes. So we'll let her do all the work, right? Yes. <laughs> I did my part already. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's just go straight into cutting the yam. So we are making yam porridge today. I'm sure you've never had this before. I haven't, but I'm excited to try it. <laughs> we are having yam porridge. It is a traditional Nigerian dish, um, almost supposed to be like a gumbo. Uh, we're right next to Louisiana, so we're very familiar with gumbo here. Well, you said you're from Egypt, right? My dad is from Cairo, yes, so I'm half Egyptian. So you're, you're African? Yes, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> so when we're cutting this, um, what size do we need to look for? Cut this in two inch pieces, one inch pieces? Or? Well, it depends on how you want it. This is the size I want. Some people make it really tiny. Mm -hmm. And when you make it tinier than this, mm -hmm. it gets, it boils faster. But it's yam anyway. So the texture of it will change if it's yes. smaller. Yes. Okay. You have to increase a little bit of this. I would not be able to do that. <laughs> I would probably cut myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so I think that should be enough, right? Okay. Is it okay? <laughs> <laughs> Normally, this should be pounded or blended, but I can't find any blender right Can here. you, like, with the knife? Yeah. Like this? Oh. Crush it? No? <laughs> it's just like this. This <laughs> one? <laughs> I don't think this is hard enough. So, um, I, I, I've never really tried this. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm scared it might hurt her hands. Because me, you can already see this one at all. <laughs> this is very small. As compared to where I'm coming from, our pepper there is really, really hot. Hmm. Yeah. I can't even try cutting our pepper with my bare hands. If not, I'll be like all the time. Wow. We'll burn your skin. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I love spicy food. Really? I mean, being Egyptian and Mexican, we have spice on both sides. So. Have you tried Nigerian food before? I haven't. That's wow. a different spice. <laughs> I want to really do this. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back there, the knife is not sharp enough. You just <laughs> oh, it's not sharp enough. Yeah. <laughs> when did you start cooking? I've always been cooking. Mm -hmm. My mom always made us cook. I mean, I started cooking at ten. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, yeah. that's early. Yeah. Once, once we, once I wasn't even allowed to hold a knife at ten. <laughs> oh, you're the ajebota. You know what ajebota is? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. People have Baby. no way to go. Exactly. <laughs> shelter. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I grew up learning how to cook because my mom will always send you to the kitchen to make food. Mm. So I grew up having passion for cooking, and then I'm like. I'd rather just open up a restaurant, but that's a long story anyway for another day. The, the aim here is to just teach you how to cook because you said you want to visit Nigeria at some point, yes. And you said 
earlier that you dated a Nigerian guy before. Yes. <laughs> so what if you just get married to a Nigerian guy and he says, make me a um, young porridge? Now, now, I will exactly. know. Exactly. <laughs> so this is new. This is it actually because the crayfish is already powdered. This is snail and um, okay. So this is like a natural spice. Mm -hmm. You can't find. I, I was surprised when I saw it here because I thought this can only be found in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It's called uyaya. <laughs> so it's from a tree. So once you cut this and put it in here, it gives you one fantastic flavor. So I'm gonna just use half of it. So you do feel like that's a staple item or staple ingredient for when you're making it? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's optional though. Okay. Yeah. Does right. it have too much of a smell mm -hmm. before it cuts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why I'm using very right. small of it. So um, everything is basically done. So we're going to head into the cooking straight up. Okay. All right. Just helping yeah. bring some of the ingredients mm -hmm. over to this place. Okay. okay, I'm gonna give the yam 30 minutes to boil so it becomes very soft. But there's one major ingredient I didn't bring up, which is the palm oil. We saw us buying palm oil, right? Yes. How come we didn't remember? How come we didn't ask? I forgot. I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is going in first. Um, parboiled snail. I'm going to put it in there so it gets softer. And then these two are going in now. Palm oil and snail. Okay. So I have um, palm oil and uh, snail in there boiling. Um, do you want to guess what it is going in there? Maybe. This is the tomato. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's what you wanted to say. <laughs> I, don't think I so. was gonna say this, but maybe. they might soften. Those actually might soften really quickly, but the donut yeah. tomatoes have to stew a little bit. That's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't come with us to the market, so yeah, <laughs> you might not know these things. But you're watching, and I hope is this something you're looking forward to preparing for yourself? Absolutely. I love, I'm a foodie myself, really? so I love trying food from mm -hmm. all over the world. Houston has a great restaurant scene, so it kind of allows you to try different cultures, food. I usually feel I can't even survive in America because I felt like I wouldn't see our food. Yeah. But everything is here. Yeah. It's simple enough. That's why this cooking show is even here for people that can't go home at the moment to know mm -hmm. that you can actually eat our food here and you can make it yourself and it's actually affordable right yes and that was an interesting thing she talked about houston having mm -hmm. such a diverse cuisine mm -hmm. so many restaurants here mm -hmm. so i've been to a few of the african restaurants here but it's different seeing firsthand you yeah, know yeah. Uh, how accessible it is mm -hmm. to uh, create these, mm -hmm. these meals here in america so we are going to put i'll let her do this so you're gonna put this okay should I bring this? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is really hot. <laughs> oh, y'all doing it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Stay. Is this already probably. smells so good. Okay, here. Okay, there. We've been seen. Let everything go right inside. Yeah. Everything looks so colorful. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to notice. So you're actually doing the cooking. <laughs> <laughs> That's the um, crayfish. Put it in there. So everything, including the onion yeah. as well. Okay. Yeah. So you're gonna continue. I'm not cooking today. I'm only okay. teaching you how to cook. So you, you go with the seasoning, and come back for the fish and the skin. Okay. 
Oh, it's okay. Oh, stop talking. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, she's going next. With this okay. is Linky. So, do you drop them? You break them. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Okay, and one more. Wait. You stay and break. You, no, 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 no. You stay and test to see if you need one more. So just stay no. and You get. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Alright. You test it. Right. Where am I supposed to test? Here. Yeah. Okay. Do you need more? One more. <laughs> okay, you can do one more. Are you you try. <laughs> Yeah. No, I think that's good. I think we need one more. <laughs> one more. Yeah. Not all of it though, because this is really small. So just mm -hmm. take it. Just a few pieces. Yeah. yeah. The flesh, the flesh, sorry. The flesh. Do you ever no. use fresh or do you prefer smoke for the flavor? I love smoke. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll have to cut that exactly. Okay. What do we have now? Spin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just sprinkle it okay. again. <laughs> yeah. And then one. <laughs> exactly. So you stay. You see? Yes. Yeah. We are done cooking and we are about to do the tasting, but we have one more special guest joining us very soon. He's almost here, he loves food, and you'll see him shortly. Oh, he's here. Yeah, come, 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 come. <laughs> Welcome. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Good to see you. This is my friend. Hi. This is also my colleague. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Please, where's the food? I haven't finished cooking. You're saying fine girls. You cannot even say it. You... My, my sister, you said I should not eat before I come. I will see the fine girls and I'll greet them after I finish eating. Okay, hello, fine girls. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> I have no idea what you just said, but <laughs> that means something is happening here. <laughs> so if you give them every every ingredient now, can they do it by themselves? Well, let me not speak for them. <laughs> let me not speak for them. Can you do this on your own? I feel comfortable trying it, having learned it now. You know, but I, I'm not a match. Like, you know, but I feel comfortable going and finding everything and trying it, yeah. I love the spice. You said it was it was spicy, but I love I love spicy, yeah. so I think it's spicy. You eat spicy as well? Yeah. Okay. That's, That's good. <laughs> She's <in> Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking her back home. Yes. <laughs> right. you know, I like how you have a snail on this side. Mm -hmm. Have you guys tasted a snail yet? This is my second time. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Because I know Americans don't usually like snail. When they see snail, they're like, oh. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of French restaurants have snail, escargot, and I tried it that way and I, and I loved it. Like yeah, it. and I had a mixed mushroom. Yeah, I asked her anyways. I asked her before buying it. Mm -hmm. You cook. Mm hmm. Oh, I feel done. I mean, now I feel you, you are professional. <laughs> Yeah. I go to most of the restaurants and they are always packed. I'm like, mm -hmm. people don't cook at home or what? Mm -hmm. You see the long queue. Because, <laughs> I mean, the thing is, Houston is like Nigeria Junior. There are a lot of Nigerians and Africans here, period. So, of course, a lot of people could, but still, a lot of people would rather just go get it quick. You know, also, yeah. really nice restaurants. Mm -hmm. Really, really diverse. Or oh, some people don't just know how to cook. Is that true? Is I that don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I eat out 365 days a year. Oh, wow. wow. You don't cook at all. I don't. Wow. Is this would... like your first time in the kitchen? No, I mean, I, I, can, I can cook if I want to, but I mean... Do you have a boyfriend or a husband? <laughs> I do. Oh, I guess he's okay. I, I guess that's why I have a ring yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where's where he from? He's actually from here, but he's Mexican. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. Traditionally, the Mexican wife, or, you know, right, is they'll, the. They'll cook, right. Well, yeah, exactly. So. 
when you get married to a Nigerian man, you must know how to cook. Right. You must same know thing, how to cook. Yeah, same thing with an Arab, Egyptian man. Oh, oh really? Yes, yes. Wow. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Except you get lucky, you get one that cooks. Mm. Right, and exactly, loves cooking. exactly. Yeah, that know, way you get a pass. I want to get a man that loves cooking, so I can rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you cook that you say you No. I don't cook things, like basic things, you know what I'm saying? Like, not throw down like, <laughs> like you're doing. But yeah, I'm starting to cook more. Mac and cheese. Trying to do, no, more cheese. than that. You know, oh, I can do the whole thing. Oh, that's yeah. really good. Yeah, not just the sides. Right. I can do the whole thing. But moving around so much, I'm kind of like you too. It's like, if I have to, I will. But just on the daily, mm -hmm. like if I had to go to the grocery store and get like a week full of groceries, mm -hmm. I would struggle. I think it's also our generation, millennials mm -hmm. and Gen Z. Like, right, we're right. not. And then you got Uber Eats. You know, you're right. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. You want water? Right. You know, I was thinking about it. I said, you're yeah, giving Americans spicy food without water. You want it's to not kill that them? That's spicy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that spicy. For us, it's okay, but I don't know how they are doing, you know? So, did your family have you. anything close to this? Um, um, we have a spinach soup called Molokaya. It's, mm -hmm. it's from Egypt. Um, it's not as savory as it. it's more spicy. Gotcha. I think it actually has more flavor. But um, in Egypt and a lot of the Middle East, they use a lot of garlic. So gotcha. um, okay. the garlic is the prevalent ingredient, I would say. Do you guys prepare with bread? Any different than how this is? Yeah, pita, you know, every, everything is eaten with pita yeah. bread, and you just cut it, you like cut it with a tortilla, you yeah. just rip it off, and then you just dip it in everything. So. And do y'all have that very often or no? No, not really. I guess I'm not Thank the you. traditional Egyptian girl. So, <laughs> <Not no. you. laughs> I'm very Americanized growing up here in Houston, so. And thank you for keeping in touch with me on your DJ culture. Thank you so much. It's a wrap for today, and I might just be in your city the next time. Who knows? Say bye. 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 I had an amazing experience cooking it. It was crazy how just some of the simplest ingredients made something so flavorful and so beautiful and colorful. Um, I was really surprised at how simple the ingredients are and actually from those simple ingredients how flavorful the meal turned out to be. So it was great. I definitely think I'll be able to cook it on my own now that I learned how to make it. This is something I can cook on my own. I'm very grateful for the process of going through the market and being able to pick everything up and being introduced to that market. So I'm excited to try it myself. I learned that in order to uh, potentially get a ring on it, I need to learn how to cook. So um, I definitely am going to be cooking more in the kitchen now. <laughs>